No, thank you, gentlemen. Not right now, please. Perhaps later. Thank you. No, thanks. Okay. I'd like to go over those points now. Yes, right away. Now. You won't go after Barry Ryan. Claudius, promise me that you won't go after Barry. Not directly. Uh, once we're underway, I want you to deal with the list and put Peter at the top. He's already there. Look, look, I'm sorry, but we're going to be called to order any minute. I need to talk about this before we start. All right. All right. Barry was first. Next is your opening statement. Please, keep it dignified. And finally, no mention of Frank Ryan or his family. All right, but don't expect the district attorney to be as gentlemanly. Harold Moss is working against me. You are working for me. My turn. The only thing I expect of you in this courtroom is complete self-control. A lot of ugly things are going to be said. You are going to be angered, shocked, perhaps even outraged at times. But all eyes are going to be on you. And you must show absolutely nothing. I understand. Excellent. Now, why don't you sit back and relax and let me do my job? Everything's all right now. You know what I mean? You know, maybe, maybe if there were nothing beyond you and me and this place... In a way, there isn't. As long as the phones aren't hooked up, huh? No. As long as I'm close to you. When I have you and me in place, I know everything's going to be OK. Even if Elliot calls and fires me. But you said you were going to call him, didn't you? Yes, yes. I said I'd talk to him. Right. Anyway, even if I do get fired, it's not the end of my life. Who knows? It might be the beginning. I could have a whole new career as a mama. Hey. Is that how you really feel? Yes. I just wish I could make you understand that a costume fitting is a lot more important than a stupid little kiss from Elliot. I think that went over in the shower. Good. It might make your call easier. On the other hand, you could always get it over with right now and call him. Oh, uh, that's all right. I'll wait. I love you. Look, I'm home now, but I haven't told Seneca anything about our conversation this morning. That there's a line at the box office and you have no intention of firing me? You'll get a call from him soon and please just say yes and no and go along with it. Is that the best way to avoid upsetting him? Yes. He's going to apologize to you. That sounds reasonable. How's your eye? A large pair of dark glasses hides it, partially. Elliot, I'll make it up to you. Promise. My dear, the um, run of the box office, the advance sale has done wonders for my disposition, my dignity, and your job security. Um, I'll be expecting the doctor's call. Thanks. Greg Vaughn, Julie Berman, and Tyler Christopher. Plus, Tony Geary and Jeannie Francis in an original special. Luke and Laura 25, something old, something new. Friday starting at 7, only on SoapNet. Go to college? Mm. And all 
you get is an education. Get accepted at SoapNet Soap U, and you can win a jet set trip to Hollywood and $20,000 available to create a new soap. Shoot your footage related to the soap opera genre and submit to SoapNet Soap U to get started. Go to SoapU.com to find out how to enter. Be part of the next generation of soap writers, producers, directors, and stars. Enroll in SoapNet Soap U. Welcome to the Envy League. Hey, thanks for stopping by. You know, I've I followed your character since the first episode. I'm a, I'm a big fan, big, big fan. Thank you. And listen, your storyline, it makes for incredible TV drama. Thing is, your drug use is very adult content. Too adult for the kids. So I'm gonna have to block you. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, have a good one. You're a nice lady. America loves the view. It's bold. <laughs> Rosie rocks. What's all the fuss about? Over four million viewers agree. The View's tenth season takes the cake. Oh, it's a whole new view only on ABC. What can you get for a buck? Can't get gas for a buck. Can't get a loaf of bread for a buck. You can't even get a cup of coffee for a buck. But you can get million dollar abs for a buck. Because now, one dollar lets you try the Ab Lounge XL system. Discover the secret to million dollar abs for just a buck. With over four million sold, Ab Lounge is the new gold standard in abdominal exercise. And now the Ab Lounge XL million dollar abs are just a buck away. This deal is absolutely insane. Because now you can try the complete Ab Lounge XL system for a full 30 days with free shipping and handling on delivery. Not for the usual $14.95, but for just $1. Backbreaking crunches are obsolete. Ab Lounge XL's jackknife motion gets you up off the floor, stretching beyond 180 degrees for ultimate results. Every move counts as you target your abs without wasted effort. Our $1 deal is absolutely real, and so are these million-dollar results. The results indicate that you're going to get a tremendous uh, abdominal workout, both for the upper and lower abs, as well as the obliques using the ab lounge. When people ask me if the ab lounge works, I tell them it's amazing. It got rid of my pot belly. If it can do that, it can do anything. Ab Lounge XL is built with a rolled steel frame, features breathable mesh, custom foot pedals, cushioned ISO grips, and focus strap, and stores just about anywhere. Each Ab Lounge XL system includes an ab blasting DVD, healthy eating guide, two week jumpstart program, and aerobic workout. Call now to try the Ab Lounge XL for 30 days for just $1. We'll even pick up the shipping and handling. We know you'll love it, but if for some reason you don't, simply call within the trial period. Send the system back and you'll have no additional payments. Best of all, if you return the Ab Lounge XL because it's not for you, we'll even refund your dollar. Call for details. So what can you get for a buck? You can get this greasy hamburger for a buck. Or you can discover the secret to million dollar abs. I'm thinking about the trouble this publicity is going to cause for you at the hospital. Right. Should have an interesting time in neurology today. Even more interesting at the board meeting tonight. Are they going to do anything? No, nothing significant. Thank you for caring. Can't have both of us out of a job. I plugged the phone back in. Oh, good. I have to call my service. If you want to start with Elliot, it's 555-3600. You win. Hello, uh, Mr. Silverstein. Uh, this is Seneca Bolak. I'm calling to apologize for my outburst last night. I, uh... <clears throat> I, uh, usually stick to words. I, I hope you're okay. Well, yeah, I am. Basically, I think you made your point more forcefully than I would have liked, but, uh, since the cloud has a silver lining, let's just forget last night, hmm? It was, uh, nothing more than a little theatrical excess, but I can assure you it won't happen again. I'm not sure what you mean by the uh, silver lining. Publicity. Thanks to your outburst and some busy photographers, we have a run at the box office. Really? Looks like Kimberly will be working for a long time to come. Oh, say two years or so. Oh, well, that's, that's great news, isn't it? Yes, thank you. I certainly will. Goodbye. Well, he doesn't want to fire you. In fact, uh, he wants you with him for two more years. Are you serious? Seneca, he said that? And it's amazing. You know, I, I got our pictures in the paper and it paid up for the show, didn't it? 
Well, it seems like all of New York is lining up to see Kimberly Harris. Oh, thank you, heaven. Thank you, husband. I'll do babies later and do my acting now. That sounds like a perfect plan, and I can't think of it. anything better. I gotta wash my hair. I've got rehearsal tonight. I'm doing another preview tonight. Well, I gotta get going for my board meeting. Tell me, you think you could do without me backstage just this once? I'll try. Just this once. Why don't you stay out late tonight and keep the board happy? I can always go for the for a drink with the cast or something. Seneca, if you don't trust me for the run of this play, we're gonna go crazy. Kimberly, in or out of this play, I have to trust you. You're my wife. Jill has absolutely no faith left in Claudia's church. She's furious at him. She'd fire him if she could. Yeah, but the man has a record of 56 acquittals. I think we've got to hold on to that thought. I'm not crazy about the guy either. A year from today, all that will matter is that Jill's free. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have to prove we're family? Can we just go in? Anyone can go in. Yeah, well, we were uh, just about to, if you'll excuse us. Now, how could you possibly think that you're part of our family? I meant extended family, like Jack. Anyway, I'm not here for myself. I'm representing Maeve. Pardon? Maeve was too upset to come. She'll be by later when she pulls herself together, but... Uh, she had quite a shock today. Maybe Faith told you. You're subtle. And you're also miserable, so why don't you just go away? Me? After what you... She came into Ryan's and picked this big fight at me and wound up yelling about the affair until Maeve overheard and... Oh, it was awful. You should see Maeve's face. It looked like her heart had stopped. Dee, you've made an announcement, and I'm not absolutely clear. Can we just forget about it, Roger, and you go away now? You mean you didn't know that Faith and Frank are lovers? I've known for ages. So is Bobby. Poor Bobby. Roger, please. Either get her out of here or I'm gonna wring her neck. <clears throat> I think she might. I think she's just as capable of violence as Jill is. Look, if you're here for me, why don't you go in and sit down, Dee? What did I do? I said Frank and Faith are having an affair. Didn't you know either? Faith, I had hoped when you didn't go with Frank to New Orleans Don't that... you dare. It is none of your business or her business what we do. And if you want to talk about it, you go talk about it with her. All right, just calm down. I'm staying with you. You wouldn't believe the way she was talking. And May... Really... I know uh, her heart's down. It should only happen to some other people I know. Faith, you take everybody. We're not going to take it right now. Hey, I didn't think you'd be here. Wish I weren't. So long. Delia, stay a minute. Talk to me. Why? You're going to miss the trial. I would love to miss the trial. They haven't started yet anyway, and I can always get the complete rundown from Faith tonight. Oh, yeah, that'll be fun. How can you stay living with her? I like her. Goodbye. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Could you give me a hand for a minute? Okay. I don't seem to be able to stay on my feet for very long. You seem to be having a running battle with Faith. I don't have anything with Faith. She's just spoiled and obnoxious, and she takes everybody I love. She always has. I have a battle. I just hate her. I'm sorry. Maybe you could poison her breakfast some morning? <laughs> no, don't suppose so. You're probably crazy about her, too, just like all the other Ryans. I just don't know why I'm the only one who sees through her. What can I tell you? Faith has done a lot for me. Sure, like hit you with a car. But who remembers that? Well, you watch yourself, Barry. Watch out she doesn't break your heart, too. She's already broken mine and my brother's. What do you want to do with these? Put them anywhere. How did she break your heart? Okay, how is she going to break mine? She'll make you love her and then do something rotten. You mean love her as in fall in love, romance, marriage? Well, no. I mean, that's not the way I was thinking. Well, good, because I couldn't possibly think that way. Not about Faith. Not about anyone except 
You know, it could happen, though, you know? I mean, she's not really all bad. Her hair is nice. Sometimes the clothes are very expensive. And, uh, sure, you could fall in love with her, and she could fall in love with you, too. I mean, if you made the effort first, I'm sure. What's so funny? Oh, you're attractive and, and sexy. And I've already told you I'm committed. So why don't you tell me how attractive and sexy you find me? Harry. Are we still friends? I hope you're my friend. I'll always be yours. I mean, like you'd do something for me, a favor or something? Like anything, you name it. Um... What's in your mind? Come on, tell me. Well, you know, one of the things you do best is you, um... Make women fall in love with you. Not do. Did. All that's in the past. Yeah, but you still know how. I, I mean, I can tell. And I have a feeling... Uh, uh, go on. ...that you can make me very happy with very little effort if you just did me one little favor and you got her to fall in love with you. Her? Faith. Just temporarily. Just long enough for her to start letting go of Frank. You know, for Maeve's sake. And all the Ryans. And Jill, too, actually. See, Faith is determined to get Frank, and she's causing everyone all this trouble. No. No? No, Delia. I have reformed. I am saving myself for whoever. I'm sorry I can't help you out. Tonight on Soapnet, just when attraction turns to flirtation, an unbelievable twist of fate. Ryan is the father of Annie's little girl. We'll rock two worlds and bond them for life. How is this even possible? Find out. All my children, tonight at 8 on Soapnet. What's new in Landview? Here's what you need to know. I'll do my best to make you proud. You already have some. I need to find the fastest way to the truth, and right now, this is it. So back off, or you're not going to know what hit you. How about little this? Oh! Oh! I really need Rex right now to help me find Tommy's birth parents. You're going to go down for murdering John McBain's father. And when you do, maybe John will be able to rest in peace. Keep up to date with One Life to Live, weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. What's new in Salem? Here's what you need to know. Thanks for giving us another chance. I think our marriage deserves it. <gasps> oh, Jack! Jack! Oh, my God! No. I was going through E.J. Rose's bank statement, and I found this. Safe deposit box. We figured he had one, we just didn't know where. No one will ever take her from you, Philip. Keep up to date with Days of Our Lives, weeknights at 11 on SoapNet. Well, that's the idea. It's Lip Fusion with micro-injected collagen, the first lip plumper that actually puts real collagen into your lips, plumping your pout instantly. Nighttime therapy, plumping pencils, and 14 sheer shimmery glosses with Lip Fusion's breakthrough plumping formula. No needles, no waiting, no kidding. Find it in pretty sets for the holidays. And I can get all kinds of themes, ringtones, and lots of cool games, like Pirates of the Caribbean. Whoa, you almost have the coolest mom ever. Yeah, pretty much. And I can check his phone usage, locate his handset, and even control when he can use his phone, all from my computer. Wow. You must be the coolest mom ever. Yeah. Pretty much. From Disney Mobile, get 200 anytime minutes for $24.99 a month plus a free phone. Learn more at DisneyMobile.com. Lose yourself in the silky smooth taste of Dove chocolate and experience like no other. My moment, my Dove. The Macy's Thanksgiving sale is this Wednesday. Save an extra 10 to 20% when you use your Macy's card. With love from me to you. Great news. Daily consumption of certain plant extracts called phytonutrients 
can significantly reduce your cholesterol. But to receive these heart-healthy benefits, you'd have to consume an extra 18 ears of corn or six heads of lettuce every day. Luckily, now there's a simple solution from NatureMade, NatureMade Cholestoff. Cholestoff reduces cholesterol up to 24% on average in just 30 days. After taking Cholestoff, my numbers went from 282 down to 210 in six months. I could not really believe that Cholestoff worked so well. Uh, very pleased with it. I'm very happy, and my doctor's happy and somewhat surprised. Get the facts. Call now for this free brochure and special coupons worth up to $7 off Cholestoff and other nature-made health solutions. The answer to lowering your cholesterol is in Cholestoff. Cholestoff is available without a prescription in the vitamin aisle. Call 1-800-758-7147 or visit us online. You're always telling your friends about DirecTV, so why not get paid for it? Help us spread the word, and we'll give you $100. Your friends not only get DirecTV's top-ranking service, they can get a free DirecTV Plus DVR and a free portable DVD player. Then you get a $100 credit on your DirecTV bill. Got a lot of friends? No problem. There's no limit on how many referrals you can make. And for each friend you refer, you get a chance to win two round-trip tickets to Super Bowl 41 in the Refer a Friend sweepstakes. In the court, the case against Julian Coleridge, the people against Julian Coleridge has called for trial. Honorable Louis A. Sikorsky presiding, all rise. You may proceed with your opening statement, Mr. Moss. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Julian Coleridge, is charged with second-degree murder in the death of Mr. Ken George Jones. The charge is murder. I underline that because considerable publicity about mercy killing has surrounded this case. Mercy has no part in it, ladies and gentlemen, only killing. Now, in the course of this trial, you will come to know the accused as a woman of broad and bizarre experience, ranging from drugs, to unwed motherhood, to a love affair conducted on two continents while her fiancé waited at home. A fiancé with whom she once shared a political scandal of national proportions. With her lover, Mr. Jones, she tasted a bit of superstardom. Oh, Miss Coleridge's search for new sensations has been relentless. It has finally become criminal. We will submit conclusive proof that the accused murdered Ken George Jones by administering a massive injection of heroin. Now, when you have heard and weighed the evidence, ladies and gentlemen, your judgment will echo my opinion that Miss Gillian Coleridge is guilty as charged. Objection, Your Honor. Mr. Moss has stated before this jury a personal opinion prejudicial to my client, since that is not only against the rules of ethics and against the rules of this court, I respectfully submit that you grant a mistrial. We appreciate your objection, Mr. Church. The jury is instructed to dismiss the district attorney's statement of opinion. And Mr. Moss, let that be the last such breach. Yeah. A slip of the tongue, Your Honor. I beg the court's pardon. Mr. Church. What is it to befriend a dying man? Not just to listen and care, but to allow the growth of an emotional bond. What is it to let yourself need someone knowing that that someone is going to be lost for you forever, very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, that is an act of courage. Gillian Coleridge's life has been filled with such acts, but the greatest was her devotion to Ken George Jones during the last few days of his life. 
Julian Coleridge was raised to love, structure, discipline. Her father was a renowned physician. Her mother was a tireless worker in countless charities. Her brother and her sister are doctors. Gillian herself is an attorney with a list of accomplishments, not only in her own private practice, but in her association with a former U.S. Senator from New York, Frank Ryan. She is falsely accused of murder. She did not kill Mr. Jones. Next, seduction rules the bedroom and the boardroom on the young and the restless. Then it's all my children, followed by one life on SoapNet. Playboy. There are a thousand women that would be thrilled to be with a guy like you. Only a thousand? Bad boy. Bradley is using your daughter. Lover boy. You say you'll marry me. Oh boy. We can't do this. Get to know Brad Carlton, Genoa City's man of mystery. The Young and the Restless, next on SoapNet. The mob war is on. Go! Soldiers fall. Oh, why? On every side. He's got another gun, shoot! And the man behind it. It's time for you to die. Will pay. Plus a confession. It's not working, Jason. That can change everything. This baby is ours. If he survives. You have to stay with me for the baby's sake. General Hospital, tonight at 10 on SoapNet. When Wally Kurth meets day star Ariane Zucker. All right, I'll do some shopping. He gets a crash course in Fashion 101. This is the shirt I've been waiting for. Will he make the grade? Look at you getting all hip. You like it? You're learning now. Find out when Wally Kurth spends one day with Ariane Zucker. <laughs> Saturday at 12.30, only on SoapNet. With my credit, I never thought I'd qualify for a new computer. But with Blue Hippo, all I need is a home phone and a checking account, and approval is guaranteed. We're talking to people who have discovered Blue Hippo Funding's guaranteed approval program. It doesn't matter if you have bad credit or no credit, because we don't check your credit. Your approval is guaranteed with just an active checking account. I started my own home business, something I never could have done without a computer. And if you call an order now, we'll include this ultra-thin 20-inch LCD TV, complete with mounting brackets and speakers, absolutely free. And we'll also include this color printer, absolutely free. These accessories are free when you call an order now. I don't know why anyone wouldn't take advantage of this. It's a great offer. Mom, can I go on the computer now? No, just a minute. This is your chance to get a brand new, brand name computer from Blue Hippo, regardless of your credit. And by calling and ordering now, you'll receive this color printer and this 20 inch flat panel LCD TV for free. So call in the next 10 minutes. Miss Coleridge, explain yourself. Mr. Church and I agreed to certain ground rules. In his opening statement, he broke those rules deliberately and blatantly. It's a breach of trust that I cannot tolerate, Your Honor. Kindly take half an hour to confer with your counsel. Mr. Church is no longer my counsel. I your trial is officially in session. You may not change the proceedings at your whim. My intention is not to disrupt. It's simply to have a voice through my attorney. Mr. Church either will not or cannot speak for me. And it's only now that you discover that? It's only now that I'm certain. I'm asking for a postponement of six weeks to seek new counsel and prepare for my case. This is an outrage. You have two weeks, Ms. Coleridge. Do not re re ask for an extension. Court adjourned. You're a fool. At least I'm no longer represented by a liar. You have traded an acquittal for a hostile judge and a defense to be built in two weeks. I hope you're going to plead insanity because you're obviously out of your mind.
Catch Days of Our Lives tonight at 11, days at night, only on SoapNet. Thank you.